Hello sports fans and welcome to the Row Report with Pride of Detroit, I'm Kelly Rowe. Well, the 2021 NFL Draft is finally here, and though things might still look a little bit different due to the pandemic, thank goodness something we all cherish so much is finally coming back. Well, this is that pivotal time where football fans get the opportunity to see what the future of their beloved franchise might look like. Whether you're the nervous fan, or the skeptical stats guy only moderately irritating to his friends. That guy? They went with that guy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, a wingspan of like 60.875 inches. Oh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> but I'm sure they've done the research. I mean, PFF gave them an overall grade of 60.3975 last season, but I mean, I'm sure they've done the research. Like, you know, I could. I have, but uh, you, know, you know, pinky to thumb, 9.6532569 inches. I mean, Captain Tiny Hands, like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> but uh, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Okay. We all come together to celebrate getting that new young talent and hopefully developing them into stars. Now when it comes to Lions fans, morale is typically a smidge low. After all, uh, history has not been kind. But there are people behind those decisions and behind that history that has led to decades and decades of mediocrity. There are flashes of brilliance within this franchise, but when you're typically the laughing stock of the league... It's Thanksgiving. Shouldn't you be in Detroit losing a football game right now? Even in pop culture, mediocrity is being a little kind. Now the Lions are in yet another do-over, another rebuild. The franchise has introduced new leaders who are making new promises. This right now is time for Lions leadership to begin making good on those promises. And I implore you as Lions fans buying in once again to really keep in mind these promises as you're watching the draft this weekend. We will build a winning and inspired culture to serve the best football product to this great city of Detroit so we can compete for championships on a consistent basis. That line from Brad Holmes introductory press conference months ago is a very clear promise and mission statement. I stress the word serve. I know the general manager position. It's a lot of different responsibilities, but I truly believe that it is a service role. A common theme among Lions fans is feeling mistreated, that the people they're giving their money to, whether it's merchandise or buying tickets to games, aren't giving them that best product they deserve. You're probably saying I've heard it all before. I've heard this before, but I will say this. Uh, there will be no ego in this process. There will be no ego in the culture. And everything is about the team. They are already sounding a lot different from the previous regime, which suffered from what Mike Payton refers to as the smartest guy in the room syndrome. We will be aggressively smart and we will embrace rapid evolution. Through all of this, we will keep laser focused on the main thing. And that's improving football and to serve a championship to the city of Detroit. In this, fashion, in this passionate fan base, one pride deserves that. One pride deserves that. Like a modern woman coming off a bad breakup with a guy who just won't commit, know your worth. Really take that sentence in. Now, it's often hard to tell whether a player is going to be a bust or not, and frankly, we don't see all the behind the scenes work from conversations to grinding tape. But here's what you as a fan can control. I want you to keep all of these promises we've heard each time a new regime comes in. Keep these current promises in mind as you're watching the draft this weekend because it's your future too. Are they being transparent? Are they answering your questions? Is there ego in this process? Are they sticking to the values they promised to stick to just a couple of months ago? A lot of promises have been made to a fan base that desperately needs some success. It's time for Lions leadership to finally begin following through. One Pride deserves that. I'm Kelly Rowe, Pride of Detroit.